We're really pleased that actually object number one in a history of fashion in 100 objects is a man's shirt. A man's shirt, a linen shirt, great big long, long shirt, um, beautifully embroidered in a style of embroidery called blackwork embroidery um, around the, the neck and the cuffs in, a, in designs of flowers and bees. And that really, it's, although it's underwear, um, and, and it, it would have been seen because it, those panels of embroidery would have been pulled through a doublet, which was the slashed garment that men were wearing right at the end of the 16th century and into the beginning of the 17th century. And menswear, menswear is absolutely fascinating because you have these different types of garments that punctuate the history of menswear. And I think one of the biggest, I guess, changes in menswear was right at the beginning of the 19th century, the transition from breeches, and breeches are just kind of come down to the knee, to this amazing newfangled garment, the trousers, which went all the way down the leg. Um, and I guess those really, trousers really were fashionable or, or became part of mainstream fashion from about the 1820s. And essentially they've never looked back. And then there's a whole other story about women in trousers, um, which is so, so fascinating, um, which, which runs through the 20th century as well. But yes, menswear, absolutely part of what we are presenting here in a history of fashion in 100 objects at the Fashion Museum in Bath.